Hi there and welcome back. In the previous video we added physics to our player and the challenge was before you start the next video was to add physics for ground and enemy and if you did that challenge good job and let's go and set that up in our project. So let's select ground and for our physics since our ground is not moving we'll set it to static and for our enemy since the enemy is also not moving we'll set it to static the only asset that is moving in our game is the player and everything else is in one place let's click preview and see what happens now and now you can see that the ball falls hits the ground doesn't fall through and then when it gets to the enemy it gets stuck it's still trying to move but the enemy is not letting the object to move through so now in this video, we will add the ability of jumping so we can avoid the obstacles. And we can do that by going into our player and let's go to our player by double clicking on it. And we already added a move node for movement here. And now we want to add a jump. And since jump is also a type of movement, we'll find jump inside the movement group. Let's select it and drag it into our node map. Now we have the jump node here. The jump node has two inputs, jump and reset. The reset is for resetting the jump limit if you want to add a jump limit into your game, but we're not gonna be using that. The only input that we'll be looking at is the jump input. So now we want a way to trigger that jump. And how we want to do that is if you touch anywhere on the screen, we want our character to jump. Touching on the screen is a some kind of a control. So we'll expand our control group and see the options that we have here. And you can look through all of these options. We have the touch, touch move, keyboard buttons. But the one we're gonna use for this video is the UI button. So let's drag and add that into our node map. And we want to enable this UI button when the player gets created. So let's connect it to the created. The outputs that we have for our UI button is pressed or released. And we will use the pressed output for our jump. So when the UI button is pressed, we'll connect it to jump to get our character to jump. In the option panel for UI button, we can configure what UI button to use. Since we haven't added any UI buttons to our UI, the only two options we have is none or screen and we'll use the screen. Now we can click preview. And now if we click anywhere on the screen, we can get our ball to jump. But our ball is jumping real high now and that will be hard to avoid the obstacles if our ball is gonna jump this way. So the challenge before going to the next video, adjust the jump so that you can avoid hitting those obstacles. And you can find the options for the jump when you select the jump node and in the option panel, we have the jump force. You want to adjust the value of Y so that you can avoid the obstacles. And once you do that, you can continue to the next video. And in the next video, we'll be looking at collision shapes and we'll be modifying collision shapes of our assets.